Hi everyone, this is Sharon Rhodes of Time For You, and I'd like to welcome you to another one of our Oils of Ancient Scripture videos. Today we're gonna to talk about an oil called cassia, cassia oil. It's a single oil that is only available from Young Living in the Oils of Ancient Scripture collection. It comes from the bark of the cassia tree, and because of its chemical composition, this oil is really, really warm when you put it on your skin. Do you remember those hot cinnamon jar breakers that you might have used to try to see how long you could keep one in your mouth and they were really, really hot? Well, cassia is even, even more potent, more cinnamony than that. It is in the cinnamon plant family. But I'll tell you, when you pop the top on this one, it almost waters your eyes. It's such a cinnamon aroma. Now, it was used during biblical times to protect God's people and to disinfect the tabernacles. It was an ingredient in Moses' holy anointing oil. Priests were instructed to anoint the tabernacles and the furniture. The Bible says the Ark of the Testimony, the table, the vessels, the candlestick, the altar, the labor, as well as Aaron and his sons. So it was not only used on people, it was used on the furniture in the buildings where the people worshiped. Now, why do you think God was so specific in giving the recipe for the holy anointing oil as well as the exact location where they were supposed to use it. Well, let's think about it. Worshippers back in biblical times, what did they do in their temples? They sacrificed animals. There was no air conditioning, and, and it was hot, and germs and odors proliferated in the very places where the people came to worship. So by instructing Moses exactly how to use the holy anointing oil and what to put in it, including cassia, God was protecting his people. Cassia is also mentioned in one of the oldest known medical records dating back to the 16th century BC. It's an Egyptian list of 877 prescriptions and recipes, and cassia is included in that list. Over the centuries, cassia has been used extensively in folk medicine. It's been especially important in Ayurvedic medicine, the Indian medical system. They have used it for a wide range of diverse health conditions. Today, we can use it topically. But be very cautious because chemically it feels so warm to the skin. If you have a diffuser, it's a wonderful oil if you have this one to diffuse throughout the day. Its warm, spicy, cinnamony aroma will create an invigorating environment that may help ease stress, may uplift your mind, and just relieve any anxiety. It also makes the air smell so warm and inviting. You can inhale it directly from the bottle, or you could put a couple of drops on a cotton ball and then just inhale the cotton ball occasionally throughout the day. Like I said, I would be very careful putting this oil directly on my skin without diluting it. I would dilute it maybe at least 50-50, maybe a little more, with a some sort of massage oil like olive oil, jojoba oil, almond oil, grapeseed oil, coconut oil would be a good one. Remember, cassia is only available from Young Living in the Oils of Ancient Scripture collection. It's one of my favorite collections. That's all for today. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe to this channel and share these videos with your friends. Until next time, always remember to take time for you because you deserve it. Have a great day.